people welcome and welcome back to freedom with frida just in case you're new here hi my name is frida Nguku, and this is the best place for you so subscribe and join the family so today is one of those days i feel like let me do something about my house and the first place i thought i should change was my office area this is because when i bought this flower which you're seeing here and my tv area this flower was meant to go up vertical is this vertical or horizontal horizontal <laughs> I don't know. and then this bit that is extended here was meant to drop down here so it was supposed to go like this this and this like just to cover up this tv area but me and my kirere angu got it coming and i was like ah, why not extend it actually i thought it was going to extend all the way there then I realized it looks better on a clear wallpaper than on this dotted wallpaper. So what I wanted to do is have this down here where it's meant to be. Because I feel like this area is a little bit crowded. Uh, so I want to move all this and drop them down here. Then also my, my office desk drawers are full of things I'm not supposed to be there. I have files. And I have wigs down in those boxes. I really use those drawers, by the way, for some reason. So what we're going to do today is reorganize this place. And let's see just how this turns out. Uh, so this table is going to be the table that I'm going to place everything and try to reorganize everything. Also, I don't need these trophies there. I really don't need them. I will dispose them off. Um, yeah, they don't need to be there. I love this here, so I'm still going to let it remain there. There's no way I can move my mirror. I just wish I had a space I could move my mirror somewhere else so I can have this place just clear, you know, just just like an office. Because I'm thinking of decorating it with some, some walling, wall paintings, not paintings, what are they called? Wall droppings? I don't know. I'll tag them so guys you can see but just some things that symbolize that literally this is just um, an office area where you get there and you feel that way so I hope the glue of this stuff is still there it takes time guys to sink these things the good thing is you can remove them oh okay the glue is still there it's still sticking so it's gonna take some time but we'll do it those the ones that will not have enough glue to stick will just do away with them because what can a girl do uh and just stick to all this okay so come with me and let's reorganize this place also i thought that the guy who did this bookshelf should have added something to stop these books from dropping because you see if it slides it slides and goes so normally there is no way i can fill this place with books but i'm thinking if i turn it because there's something that is preventing it right here. If I turn it, then this place will stick to the wall and then the books will be facing this side. I don't know whether that will work, but let's see whether it works or not. So we're just doing a rearrangement of this area just uh, to see how it's going to look. So come with me. A few moments later. Okay, guys. So uh, let me give you some little bit of tips when you are thinking of having an office. This is a mistake I did. Make sure your table, if it's a house office and it's a bed sitter you're living in, or your space, your office space is not as big. Kindly don't make such a big table. Um, I remember when I went to make this table, the guy was like, how big do you want it to be? And I was like, I just a normal office table. And I forgot that this is a besitter. So apparently this table is really big, which is, it's a good thing if I move to a bigger house of course, um, or move to a house where I have a different room for my office. But if you're living in a besitter, don't make such a, a, a big 
table. Then this one, make sure it's it has something to cover up for your books, just in case you want to make one that looks like this. And then let's let it have as many shelves as possible. Okay, and if you, you can make it like two, like I wish I made it like two of these joined together, it will create more space for me because right now with this quarantine, I'm not doing a lot of hard book. I'm doing ebooks, which means I'm not adding more books to the shelf, but with time, of course, I'll get more books and it will really be when we get back, I read like a book weekly. So you can imagine how fast this one will fill up. So get a bigger one for this one and a smaller table like the length of the table should be not this long because i was thinking if my table is not this long then i would have placed it looking facing this way and have my table my seat here but a girl can't do that because we did a huge table which i think will come in handy when i move to a bigger house because some things you do like office stuff they're gonna be there for a really long time now let's try and move this uh, flower to this side and see how that goes. Okay guys, so it doesn't look so perfect, but since this thing is gonna cover up there, I don't mind, I don't mind, but at least this wall is now clear, um, you know, I don't know whether the glue is showing from there, but I can see a little bit of it where the flowers were. But we can still work with that. Um, let's see whether we can change this thing to stand the other way around and have the books facing this way. I think that works. I think that works really. Yeah, I think that works. So this place looks uh, clearer, guys, which I love, 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 love. So we can now have books not falling because the wall will be protecting and this other side will be protecting. So that was a good move. Okay, let's keep arranging our books back. A few moments later. So I realized actually after putting my shelf like this, it's taking the books are taking less space, which is a good thing. Again. Right. So guys, the other hack when you're arranging your books in a shelf, make sure that they are facing where the titles are, this side of the book is facing you. Like, because this is where I'll be seated, so it's easy for me to see what book is where. Other than uh, placing them in this kind of a manner. So if I want a book, it means I have to peruse to see because I can't see the title. 
also if you arrange them this way it's gonna take less space yes but again you have to check which book is which but when you arrange them in such a manner it's very easy to tell that this is how to be rich so if i want to pick a book it's very easy for me to tell that this is how to stop worrying and stop because stop worrying and start living so it's easy to trace your book when you arrange them in this manner you can tell what book is where and even on your notebooks i'm one person who really collects a lot of notebooks so i can tell that this is whatever notebook this is what notebook and just pick easily so i think that helps quite a lot guys when you're buying your office table and table and chair make sure it's a little bit comfortable and that it can be moved up and down I realize that this really works well whereby you can pump it it goes up and goes down and only do that when I'm seated on it so that uh, it depends on how much you want to adjust I can go down and of course it can go up so invest in a good chair for your office because these are things you buy and I'm not sure you're gonna buy again in the next five or so years uh, yeah looks really good i feel like there's a lot of space there one eternity later so let me give you a, a look how how do you feel guys i know it's not like a big change but the fact that that flower now is just concentrated on the front part it somehow makes the house looks look more organized and then i've created space on the bookshelf area i can have more books now because one of the shelves is actually empty Look at that, the one below there, the one down there, and also I can add books here on this shelf right here. I can actually add books there. You see? So I've created space, then this area is more extended than before. I, I don't know, somehow things have changed. Then now that wall doesn't feel so crowded. Um yeah, I think I think it looks better this way. Thank you so much guys for stopping by. Always be well of yourself. Stay safe, stay focused and see you on the next one. Bye.